know we're going to get a break, but this whole yeah, thing good. with uh, Brody Van Wagenen, yeah. in a way, it kind of, I know it makes him look a little dopey, but it also makes him look like he's got the pulse of the players. Like, he's a former agent, so he understands what the players are trying to do. I had no issue with anything he said at all. My issue would be the person that had that set up and had it live. That's the issue. What he said to a couple of guys where he says it stays inside this room, no issue. And, you know, and whether it was Jeff, whether it was Rob, someone must have had the idea to go out there and play an hour after they did what they did. And it was goofy. It was a stupid idea. I don't know whose idea it was, but I agree with you. To me, he talked to his players. This is what they wanted to do. If they didn't want to play, they weren't going to play. And any suggestion otherwise was silly. I'm with you 100%. I think he was in the right with what he was saying. Yeah, because he, he's an agent, so he knows the players and he knows what they're all about. Um, you know, But, again, it, it's really unfortunate that the Mets have got to deal with this. Yeah. You know? and, and, um, and to go after Rob Manford. Rob Manford's got enough to deal with. Uh, and then to have to deal with uh, something where uh, it is totally – he is mischaracterized uh, in the midst of it because it, it what it makes you feel is that there is a lack of belief in his leadership as a commissioner. And I'm sure that there are a lot of people that probably feel that way. I'm not saying that, that they shouldn't feel that way or I'm not trying to change their minds. I'm just saying that when you listen to what Brody says – it just really, even though it's inaccurate, it does speak to a bigger problem that the commissioner of baseball has. Well, at least from his point of view, yes, you're absolutely right.